Good day. Happy Travelers Vacation Travel Hacks here with the planner's version for the, this is intended for the people planning trips to Epcot. It's the guide to sit down dining. Maybe you've, uh, you're thinking about trying sit down dining or comparing it to quick service. Uh, there's a lot to do in Epcot. I'm happy to get to it. Uh, but if you're the family planner and are interested in hearing about uh, dining, we'll cover what's available for adults, children, and uh, breakfast if it's available. Otherwise, dinner, uh, we'll review the menus and the cost. So as we work through this here, hopefully you're here at the 61 day out or in further, not closer, uh, because if you're uh, outside of that at 60 days, you can make reservations. And we are moving forward here. So previously we've covered how to navigate Epcot so it's friendly on the feet, not backtrack as much as possible. That's a, a, a video of the past. It's on my channel. Otherwise here we've got a lot of dining options to talk about. Uh, so let's hop into it. First one is Space 220. And so if you walk in from uh, the, the ball, uh, it will be close to in between taste, uh, test track rather and the uh, space uh, mission mission space where you can uh, go to Mars and the moon and it's very exciting. So Space 220, listen, where else on earth can you eat in space? There's uh, two different menus, two different prices. We are going to talk about dinner uh, and the, the dinner price is uh, $79.99. Uh, the kids is a little cheaper. That's a little further down. So uh, if you're going to make this investment, it is an experience. The environment is well done. Uh, when you order the food, the food is tasty. Uh, it starts with an appetizer. So $79 gets you an appetizer, a, a main course, and a dessert, and a drink. And uh, so here is your appetizer. Choose from one of these. Pause if you want to stay here. The main course is here. I've had the filet, uh, and I've had the 24-ounce bone-in ribeye. And uh, even though the ribeye is more expensive, I actually enjoyed the filet. Uh, and then it gets down to the desserts. Uh, choose one of these. I believe I had the carrot cake last time, but I actually I really enjoyed the carrot cake. For the kids, much cheaper. Uh, $29. Remember, for the adults, it was $79. So that's $50 off. And they can choose between spaghetti and a burger. So here, the important thing is, if you're making this investment, will your kid eat something? Nothing, you know, hopefully, that's the point of these videos. Take a look at the menu. Will your kid eat it? If not, maybe try something else. We'll keep going on. Hey, listen, in Mexico land, there's a place called the San Angel Inn. It's the pyramid. And there's actually a restaurant in the pyramid. Very cool. If you've been to Disneyland, you know that the uh, there's a restaurant, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride called the Blue Bayou. This is similar. You're eating in a ride. The environment's very cool, and the food is also uh, very enjoyable. So uh, if you're not familiar with it, there's a – also, be careful. There's the uh, San Angel Inn, and then there's La Cat Cantina de San Angel Inn. I thought I made reservations at the Pyramid. I made reservations at the other place. Turned out to be an okay mistake. There's two. They're both circled here. So here's the menu, and it's uh, Habla Espanol. Uh, with uh, a <laughs> habla anglais uh, description. So the, the title is uh, Spanish. The description is very much English. And uh, hopefully there's something here. Pause here if you want to stay. I'm going to move on. Uh, will there be something for your kids here? My kid likes cheese quesadillas. He enjoys them. They are tasty. And then uh, so they get to choose one from the top. Add some corn and rice. Complete the selection and a kid's dessert to round it out. Pause if you'd like to stay longer. Dessert. We normally get tres leche de horchata, and that's that's tasty, and it's fun to say. I enjoyed it, and if I didn't say it right, let me know. <laughs> Let's move on across the street from the pyramid, La Hacienda de San Hel, uh, open three to nine. Great view of the water. So the other one, you're in the pyramid, uh, and then after you 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 know you get done eating, you can ride the ride in the pyramid. This one, you you get a view of the uh, the the water there, so it's uh, pretty well done. Great theming here as well, and again located right across the street from the pyramid on the water. Here's the menu, similar but different. Uh, similar but different is what I can say. And uh, so here here's some stuff here for you. Pause it if you want to take a look. Here's what's for the kids, similar to what was across the street. Uh, and then uh, the, the dessert here, 
uh, again, similar, but a little different. And I, I've heard great things about the Fiesta Pyramid. I've never walked out of this place hungry enough for dessert, though. Epcot actually is a place to eat. Uh, maybe you were unsuccessful in getting Cinderella's Royal Table, and you still want a princess uh, event to meet the princess uh, uh, princesses and get uh, a princess experience. Then over in Norway land at uh, uh, Icarus Royal Banquet, uh, Banquet rather, apologies for that, uh, is for you. It's a all you can care to enjoy and uh, orientate yourself here. Here's Norway land. So it's right in front of the Frozen Ride. Uh, it is $63 for adult, $41 for children, and it's a all you can care to enjoy uh, storybook dining experience. And uh, so, like I said, the, the pro here is... If you didn't want to wait in line for a meet and greet with the princesses, you can have dinner and have them come to you, and, and you've accomplished uh, everything. We've eaten here. We've actually eaten breakfast, so before COVID, they had breakfast here. It's not offered right now, uh, at least on the website. It shows it's not offered, and the uh, the breakfast was uh, pretty tasty. As a matter of fact, their meat and cheese during the breakfast was, was really good, and uh, having my dad get pictures with the princess, well... That's memories we will all take with us. If you keep moving up on uh, the map there, we move to the China Land and the Nine Dragons China Restaurant. I ate here once on a work trip. Uh, lunch and dinner, the same menu, open 12 to 9. And again, that's we're moving a little further along here. Uh, up the World Showcase uh, and appetizers. Uh, it, listen, if I'm to compare the quality, it's not the finest Chinese food that I've ever had, but it's better than Panda Express. So if you go to the mall, get Panda Express. This is this is way better than that. Uh, you know, not not huge into uh, a, a China Chinese food connoisseur, but I, I do enjoy it from time to time. Pause it if you want to review this here, and uh, that's that takes care of that. Uh, there's no at the time that I made this on March 9th, 2023, there was no kids menu. As we move on down the World Showcase, we end up in Germany land. Here you can get a, hey, listen, the food is 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 good, but the entertainment here is better. Uh, uh, once every hour or so, uh, there is a uh, a show in this, in this restaurant, and it's at the back of Germany land right here at the circle in the bottom left-hand corner. And uh, they, it's a cool, uh, like a German band comes out with the, like one of those big long, uh, you know, things. It was, and they come out, they do bells. It's a full on production. It's really good. $49 for adults, $27 and uh, some schnitzel and kraut and uh, uh, other, th uh, there's just a whole smorgasbord of uh, food. Uh, but if your kid doesn't like schnitzel and uh, sauerkraut, Maybe uh, may maybe this isn't the, the, the place. Maybe this is the place. As we work away from Germany to Italy, we get to Via Napoli. And I, I'm to be honest, this is where we go when we get to Disney. We go to Epcot. We here, we kick it off. And we start the party strong. Uh, it's an Italian restaurant. And there's two Italian restaurants here. Via Napoli is in the back left. The other one we'll talk about is in the, the bottom, uh, bottom right. And uh, so they got some pasta at the top. Uh, they got other traditional things that, that you could get at Olive Garden, like chicken parmesan. And then they have all sorts of types of pizzas. And uh, you can get the big one. We usually get the, uh, the the Metro, which is a meter, I guess, in Italian, which is pretty good. Good to know. And if the kids are not pizza fans, uh, they maybe they're spaghetti fans or chicken tenders. And uh, the, the the gelato, gelate here is, is, is good as well. Uh, there's also personal pizzas. There's tiramisu. There's... Oh man, there's there's plenty to eat. Pause, go back if you need to see more. But this is that Tutto Italia Ristorante is opposite of Via Napoli and also offers Italian cuisine, but not pizza. Pizza is not on the menu. And this is uh, so it's steak, salmon, Caesar salad and for kids. Still has spaghetti, still have chicken tenders. But you know what? What kid doesn't want to eat mozzarella sticks for dinner? And uh, they, some wine. Uh, I don't cover it a lot. That's not necessarily my specialty. But most of these places and anywhere in Disney now, you can enjoy something to uh, <laughs> something to quench your thirst, I suppose. Uh, otherwise, there's pasta and there's some dessert, 50th celebration dessert. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do on the 51st. Uh, actually, we're almost done with 51st. It's almost the 52nd. Let's move down to Japanese land. Uh, Teppanetto, we eat here. Uh, we've eaten here the past several times. Hibachi. 
and uh, sushi. I do not cover. Oh, here's J Japan land. It's uh, right here. Circle. Uh, you got to go up some stairs, go up some stairs and uh, enjoy some hibachi. Here is the prices for that. I did not cover the sushi menu. There is sushi and we do enjoy it. Uh, California rolls, dragon rolls, the whole, the whole nine yards. Uh, for the kids, here's what's available for the children at the bottom uh, or maybe at the top. Maybe your kid's like, hey, you know what? I'd like some ice cream. Well, you're in luck. Uh, if we go a little further down the road over to uh, Morocco land, we got Spice Road table. I've never eaten here, so I was looked at the menu. And uh, if you're not, where's Morocco land? Well, it's right here. It's actually on the water of Morocco land. Over here are some cool little shops and fountains. Pretty cool experience to walk through. But here's what's available. It's Mediterranean small plates, like a bunch of appetizers. So get get some stuff. Get the sampler. Try some stuff. Uh, we're we're going to try it next time we go. And I'll update this video with my experience. But ta-da, here's the menu. Uh, if you want to look at the kids' menu, they don't have them. That was the menu. Chefs de France. Uh, man, we've been to Disney so many times. We've eaten here. We've enjoyed it. And uh, anytime we can, we try to book it. There's the times that they're open, 12 to 9. And France land, we just covered Morocco. Now we're into France land. So if you're heading over to Remy, uh, you know, you're 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 in good shape. There's places to eat. There's actually places to eat at Remy. Here's some of the stuff. It's Parlez-vous Francais, s'il vous plaît. Uh, but the description is uh, Parlez Anglais, s'il vous plaît. So you get to know, you know, a little bit of French. And the French onion soup is good. The filet, I always try to get a steak. And I always enjoy a good steak. Uh, then there's the thing where if you're like, hey, you want an appetizer, dessert, a drink, and uh, everything uh, included, $67.95. So if you do some math above, if you go there, well, what if I get this, this, and this, and you crunch it, all the numbers together, uh, you could come out ahead. And who doesn't love coming out ahead? What are the kids going to eat? Well, French can scare children, especially with one of the appetizers back here was escargot. You can uh, really, if your kid's not being behaving, take them to Chefs de France, have them eat some escargot. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I, I think 40 years ago, that would have been an okay approach. Now, we, we make sure that they we move on, on down to the desserts. Desserts are always good. And if you don't like the desserts here, don't worry. And uh, behind it, there's actually a pretty cool ice cream shop. We won't cover it here, but we will cover it later. That France ice cream shop, the Apple Crisp. Oh, man, the Apple Crumble ice cream is good. Let's move down to England. Uh, England Bland, Rose and Crown Dining is the name of the place, open four to nine. And they are really well known for fish and chips, which is appropriate because this place is located on the water. Here's your appetizers. Here's your entrees. I messed up one of our dining reservations and we were late. It got canceled and we ate here for a brunch on Thanksgiving. And we all had the fish and chips. And I believe we enjoyed it. Somebody had the shepherd's pie. They enjoyed that as well. What is the kid going to eat? How about fish and chips? Don't like fish? How about some chicken? Wash it down. Uh, now, the flagship steak. I know if you've listened to a lot of my videos, I'm like, yeah, the steak was good. It, it was a good steak. There's no such thing as a bad steak. Well, an overcooked steak is a bad steak bad steak and maybe a raw steak is not super good like you know rare rare uh but this place listen we ate here for special occasions you'll see why on the next page this this is it it's in canada land uh we're getting close to once where we started very very cool place the prices might scare you a little bit french onion soup is something i always get it's good the prices of the steaks here yes uh, yes 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 they're they're high uh but they're good. It is the best steak that uh, that I've had. I've had the New York Strip. I've had the ribeye. It is all very good. You can get some enhancements on it. I stand by this steak. Uh, kids, what the kids going to eat? Well, steak, of course, or maybe some uh, chicken or uh, salmon. Up, up to you. This was actually a very important slide to look at because as you go to a place like this, while you're in, you know you're enjoying your seventy dollar steak, is your kid enjoying their you know fifteen dollar meal? Because if they're not enjoying it, then you're probably not enjoying it. That's why I show you this. That's the important part of planning. That's why we're here. Uh, poutine. I've never heard of poutine until I went to La Cellular, and I'm glad I did because we've uh, sampled both poutines. We enjoy both poutines. We are both very full. I don't, uh, all of us were full every time we go. I don't remember eating dessert, but if we did, I bet it's really good. We'll wrap up our tour of Epcot by going to the Garden Grill. The Garden Grill is located uh, over in this part of, uh, back into the uh, future world area. Uh, it's the same area where Soren is and 
the living off of the land ride. As a matter of fact, you're part of the living off of the land ride when you're in this ride. Uh, it's a character experience. Again, if you want to meet Chip and Dale, uh, and I believe Goofy, there's a, an assortment of uh, people, I believe Goofy or Pluto. Uh, come at, you know what? Farmer Mickey shows up too. So a good opportunity to see Mickey in a different outfit. $55 for uh, adults, $36 for children. They bring a, a big platter of food to, to your table. You eat it all. You say, I'd like some more food. They will bring you more food. And uh, the, the berry shortcake was uh, fantastic. The food here was uh, very, very good. But again, character experience, pros and cons, you know, pro is, you know, they come to you. The con is the meal is $55, but, you know, otherwise you're, you're standing in line in the park, maybe in the sun on, on, on feet where you don't really feel like it here. You're off your feet, air conditioning. So you, you have to choose, Hey, how, how do you want to balance your time? Is this time well spent? Uh, we've enjoyed it and the food was good and the experience was great. And, uh, uh, they used to have breakfast here. It was really good. So that concludes the Epcot tour of places that take dining reservations. I'm going to move over in the next series of videos to what the quick service offers. And you'll be able to see that, you know, the, the next offering. So hope, hope, hope this helps you plan your perfect Disney trip. And I will see you in the next video. Stay safe. 